Welcome back to another VFX tutorial and today we're gonna do something which is boring so here boring background to a less boring floaty pretty sweet impressively uh, well long word <laughs> thing basically just a nice water effect which is being distorted and it's looking pretty cool now and I love the new feature which is kind of, kind of enabling that so if you want to know how to do that in Game Maker Studio, stick around. This is One Up Indie. I am a developer, so if you like what you're seeing, hey, why not consider sharing, liking, and subscribing? Alrighty, so this is basically the setup. Pretty, pretty easy. So for that, you just need one little thing, which is in a repeating tile, which we're gonna stick to our to a bottom background. So this is now currently white. I mean, just, just do it like this, okay, this is of course useless, like that, so repeat it. And then of course we need want to have some movement, so 0 0.2, 0 0.2, once for example we check it out, it's looking okay, but for example if you see it like this, it looks, it looks a little bit rugged, so nah, not good enough for us. So how can we prep this up? Well, with a effect layer, which is done on top and of course now it's doing nothing so we just go under distort then as you can see already looking pretty cool so this is kind of reminding me of uh, swimming pools by the way but let's go with the one and five of course play around with numbers as you can see you can for example create kind of a static thing if you like or for me now one five is working so let's check this out and boom pretty cool effect so we got a scrolling background just with one tile so this is ultra lazy lazy programming and it already works pretty sweet and as you can see it has kind of a rippling effect which is cool and therefore we can actually use it for other things like for example we can actually attach it to lava if we like so a lava tile so let's go and apply the lava if you like and boom basically the same of course speed we should go down or for more funky things so let's go for example for a thing like this and then we just play around with our distort uh, let's go for 30 as you can see now kind of interesting effect so let's check it out how it actually looks like alrighty so what you're seeing now is kind of interesting there is some glitching on top and on the left which is kind of curious but as you can see you can actually create some art as it seems pretty thing or like a, a Van Gogh or whatever so everything is like melting and stuff pretty cool by the way I actually like it shamefully I'm not sure what that is but I guess that comes with if you distort it a little bit too much and then it tries to render from the top left and then we get some artifacts like that but basically this is just it so if you like this thing well just play around because you can actually do a lot of things with the distort shader and um, if you go let's say between uh, or lower than uh, one then this thing becomes a little bit blurry which is maybe a thing which you want to have so here once again play around just have one sprite and this is so lazy so cool and actually by, i found it by accident so that was a complete accident but a pretty cool accident which i wanted to share with all of you guys already so hopefully you enjoyed this a little accident of mind and you can reproduce and make cool effects like me with this kind of stuff. So have a good one. One up indie.